Interesting how Jen went Marth because he, it was just worth a shot because he lost with Lucina the previous week. He says Marth can sometimes put people on tilt. Nick did not fall for that though. He's going to go into Pokemon Stadium 2 with the classic music playing up for us. I feel like one of the weaknesses that Palo has is just the fact that fast characters can kind of overwhelm her. Yes. You know, she's just like, oh, look at all this space I create. And it's just like, that's a nice fireball you got there. Too bad it's behind me. Yeah, you'll see that's exactly what Nixie wants to do with the second fastest character in the game in terms of ground speed. Ooh. So right off the gate, right out of the gate, Nixie is just not letting Jen have any of this stage. Completely knocked off to the left side, and that is it. Ooh, gets the down tilt, sending him flying. He's trying to catch a roll onto the stage with that up smash. A little bit too far away for that jab to actually connect with the neutral. He just goes for the most Hail Mary Falcon Kick. Not enough to get the kill just yet. Oh, that was a free back air. But he's already going for the already committed to the empty hop. Oh, he caught himself a little bit too soon in the air. Up tilt, putting him up there. Has to air dodge to avoid the supposed to flame. Gets caught by the forward air instead. Falcon dives his way into that first stock being deleted. Okay, gets all the swings to neutral air. This is an actual training mode combo. Hold up. Neutral air into neutral air into neutral air into neutral air till, until they die. Until you run out of floor space. Until you run out of real estate. Okay, Nixie, back to resetting the neutral. Just runs right in there with the dash tag just to open up that zone a little bit. Oh, he caught him jumping. Up smash. Summon the light, sending Nixie into the blast zone. Avoiding all these aerial attacks. Look out for that staff. Applying a lot of pressure against that shield. Great spot dodge, avoiding the grab. Spot dodge is actually being an effective tool in this game against grab. Neutral air into neutral air. He's doing the exact same thing that he just happened to him earlier. Down air. At this point, if Nixie lands a down air, that's probably leading to a kill. And that's exactly what Jen sees is coming, which is why he's throwing out the up tilt. Gotta be prepared for it. Second swing of neutral air. Potential edge guard. Wants to just push him off. Now he has him on the edge of the stage. Avoids supposed to flame, leaving Jen completely vulnerable to that grab. Catches the teleport with a down tilt. Nick, one stock away. Take on this first game. Okay, he's just going to air dodge right through using the directional air dodge to get back onto the stage. Applying a lot of shield pressure with these back airs. Double back air wants to try to follow it up. He was trying to push that advantage so far with that Falcon kick. Sitting at 111. They both holding grab right in front of each other. Up smash. Great use of the miss tech onto the platform. This is why Jen is actually a fan of this stage. Rapid jab. Deal the damage. Push him back. Try to go for the forward smash because he recognized that Jen was going to land right in front of him with just a hair too late. Up. Air into knee. That is a Smash 4 combo if I've ever seen one. Nixie taking away game one from Gen. One game away from winning Xeno 140. My man is on a mission. And what's crazy, I already mentioned this before, but I, I, I was assuming that Nixie versus Jen was going to be the grand finals of the Xeno last week. But now it is it is come to fruition this week. And also, I was the one that was thinking Nixie's going to win last week. He ended up getting fifth place, but now this is his time to shine in the hot seat one game away. Hopefully he's not feeling the pressure as Jen's going to swap over to Marth. He just could not deal with the rushdown that Falcon was establishing onto his power. He went to play a certain game, but now a change of pace. Let's go to outer space. Got the tri-plats here with a little bit of slopes as well. Different kind of layout coming out here. Now, compared to Smash 4, the stage no longer tilts anymore. He just called that out. When Nick just lands a Rodney like that, you know he has a crazy amount of momentum. Back air. He just went off so deep for that neutral air. Nick taking away the first stock away from Jen. Just rolls right through him to get some mad damage. 
a little bit too close. That might be a little uh, some stage unawareness coming out. You're a little bit too close to the edge. The Ravage not to work out. Goes for the Falcon Kick instead. Raptor, uh, Falcon Dive being a great tool. They're holding their shield on the platform. It's command grab and catch and go midair. He uses jump. There it is. He actually saved it that time. Hey, Jen trying to play the keep away game with this Falchion. All bears. So this entire time, Jen's trying to get Nixie airborne. The constant barrage of all bears and up tilts, but Nixie is just establishing such a presence that he can't do anything. Kills him with the down tilt one stock away from winning with the Falcon himself. Can he possibly end with a three stock? Okay, avoiding the down tilts. Waiting to make his move. Wanted to go for the board smash a little bit too late on that. Probably should have opted for a down tilt instead, a quicker burst option. But definitely wanted to solidify that kill. Gets the shield break. That's a kill if I've ever seen one. No reason not to go for the shield break or fully charged. And Jen putting a point on the board. Dash attack. That was a little punishable. Jen a hair too late. Probably should have just gone for a shield grab. Goes for the up air, has very little landing lag, especially with the shield pressure on top. He was able to connect that up tilt afterwards, but Nick C landing these neutral airs. It's the grab. Patience. Connects it up tilt on that left platform, but Nick C is starting to jump and hover around all three of these platforms. Trying to play this waiting game. Up tilts, up tilts about. Oh! Try to get that up there. A little bit too much damage for that to actually connect. Jen hanging on for dear life because he is bleeding. 114%. Nixie looking to finish it off. Gets swung away with that sword. Jen needs this edge guard right here, right now. He's going for big plays right now. Up smash, shield breaker, fishing for this kill. Okay, Nixie dancing on the platform as well. Jen just stays on the grounded. If he connects that down air, that's going to be the game. Rapid jab through the shield. Wants to go as long as possible. Good. I mean, that's actually a good option for Jen. Even though he's a little bit hair too late. Doesn't get the... Oh! Dolphin slash off of the tech. The thing is still in Falcon's favor. Swung the wrong way. Gets gentlemen into outer space. Nixie taking it with a 2-0 victory. Your Zeno 140 champion. Is that guitar riff? Congratulations to Nixie taking home the gold in dominant fashion. My word, I felt like there was almost like a no contest for him. Nixie, he's you know 140 champion, but congratulations again to Jen for making second place a lot better than his top eight placement last week.